Okay, so because I have about a million of these, I mean, I don't have a lot of them, okay? Now I need to take them apart. And if I take the back off there, there's a tiny metal circlip in there. On the cheaper ones, it's got a plastic clip. On these ones, it's got a little metal circlip. Now, I could prise out with a teeny tiny screwdriver and wreck them. So all I really want to do, obviously, is get a circlip pliers and take them out. But getting little circlip pliers like that is actually quite difficult. And I had a look on Amazon and there's 66 quid. For a pair, I thought, yeah, well, I'm a cheapskate and there's no way I'm paying that. So I went up to my local store and bought a normal set of circlips, well, actually a cheap draper tool, for a fiver. So I've got my five-pound circlip tool there. Now, that comes apart like that. And what I want to do is adapt that so it can go in there. Now, there's nothing to it, OK? All we have to do, really, is file it until those two pins close tightly together and then take a little bit off those pins so it fits in the circlip and we'll be there. There. So, first things first, let's get some filing done. Okay, so I've just filed them down and now I can pop that in there. And ease that over. And there we go. Okay, so the point of doing that was uh, not really to do that because obviously it's really simple but making your own tools can be a really simple job as well just depending on what it is that you need and if you have a job that you've got to repeat very often it's just more useful to make a tool now I have made lots and lots of tools for all kinds of things and it's always the same process decide on what your job is decide what the tool you need is find something that is near that and then make the adaptation and you can make your own specialist tools and it is certainly a lot better than paying 66 pounds for something like that anyway i hope you like that little video thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe